Hey, how's it going, everybody? Ryan Kibi here with another edition of Kibi's Community. Uh, today we have a message from the Titusville Rotary Club. Uh, one of the members of the Titusville Rotary Club, specifically Chris Feely. Uh, he is with the Oil Creek Chairman Al Rickerson, and they have a message about a big upcoming event, uh, the Oil Creek Classic. And uh, by all means, we will kick it off over to Chris to keep us informed on the event. Yeah, Ryan, Chris Feely here on the banks of Oil Creek with Al Rickerson. We first need to thank Armstrong and uh, the Neighborhood Channel for all your help. Love being on Kibbe's uh, community. Uh, we certainly had a great turnout for that Rotary at 99 back in February. And just uh, at Easter on Easter Sunday, we had hosted 223 meals uh, that we distributed. We did take some donations, which was very nice, but we made Easter for uh, for some folks here in the Titusville area. So thanks for your help and your sponsorship uh, along the way. Certainly appreciate it. So. But today, as you can tell by our shirts, uh, we're wearing the Oil Creek Classic gear, and it's, a, it's our next fundraiser that we're going to have, and it's our largest fundraiser of the year. It's hard to believe that uh, last year, unfortunately, we couldn't have it, but uh, this year we're going to have it on Saturday, May 1st, and we're going to start at the Ed Meyer Complex actually on Friday night on uh, April 30th, so uh, with dinner and registration. So Al is actually, uh, he's the godfather of the uh, and founder of the <laughs> Oil Creek Classic. And uh, so Al, go ahead and tell us a little bit of background and tell us a little bit more about the event. Okay, uh, as any service group, you always have to have a fundraiser and have new ideas for new fundraisers. Back when I was the president, uh, my son was going, we were traveling around the state going to AAU basketball tournaments. So I went to one, and I met a gentleman from Lancaster, what they call it, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Lancaster. And they ran a fly fishing tournament. So he and I talked a bit. And so on the way back after the tournament, I kind of thought about it. I said, well, wait a minute. Old Creek is a very good place to do fly fishing at. This could be something that we can possibly do. So by halfway back on the trip, I made up in my mind, we're going to try at least one time. So thankfully with the, uh, with the board's uh, backing, we gave our first uh, tournament. We only four people, of course, because you know we were just trying to fly in the fly by night and learn as we went. But I think it, over the years it, it, it's evolved, it, it's taught people, um, and it's been a good event for us. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we've grown obviously from those four, four amateurs at that point. They were all male. Now we have a uh, we we did have some professionals for a couple years, but now we're back to the amateurs, and we have males, women's division, and a, ch and a children's division. So, yeah, you know what? To be honest with you, this year I changed up. Oh, we do have a youth division, but I thought about this. I said, you know what? Anglers are anglers. There's no there's no real inherent. Uh, advantage that men have over women so we're going to throw them all in the same category ah. and just let the competition begin very good. but i will say this is that from the very beginning we've had some uh, help from like we're filming behind uh, the middle school here and one of their teachers and i call both these gentlemen 24 karat gold science teachers they go trout in the classroom so we've always had input and had them come down to our events uh, put the fish into the creek and we always had them doing different things like that So they gave me the idea that if any youth Wanted to participate that means under 18 that we'll we find sponsors to uh, pay their fee to get in And that's the way that you know it promotes our sport and also you, you don't have to have a parent worrying about Paying uh, entrance fees, so it's proved out pretty good for the years so we obviously are uh, looking for participants. If you're an angler, a fly fisherman, man or woman, uh, that is, and also sponsors because we do not only do we sponsor the youth division or any now anyone under the age of 18, they can fish for free. Uh, but also uh, we take that money. It's, it's like I said, it's our major fundraiser of the year. And one of the things we do is, do you want to approach that about? Oh sure. Um, 
One of the one of the programs that the uh, Titusville Middle School has is they go to Walt Island every other year, and that's in Chicoteague, Virginia, at a old NASA uh, complex. What they do, they go down there. They have a science center. Uh, it's like a three-day uh, field trip, but they learn as they they learn different things down there. So we're we're a proud sponsor, one of the sponsors that uh, take up for that. And also too, we have some also some other Rotary Youth uh, programs, and we also sponsor uh, those particular programs. So we use this to sponsor our youth programs, and we're very proud to do it. Yeah. So we're uh, we're excited about that, and and like he said, uh, Mike Reynolds and Eric Mallory are the teachers at the middle school, and their 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 students have grown fish from eggs literally is one of their products and annually other than last year obviously they uh they bring them down and they release them uh into into oil creek as part of our community day uh which is actually it's saturday morning so it's more than just fishing we also have community day and you want to touch upon yeah that? let me touch about community day um the very first years i noticed something if you weren't the family of the professional anglers or the uh, significant other of one of our anglers, people had nothing to do. And I took that as an opportunity to try to um, educate people about fly fishing and not only to, to how to cast, how to uh, fly tie, and of course you have to make things uh, interesting for the young, young people. So we had fun and games, we had people uh, do some face painting and things of that nature. But this year we're going to have uh, Gary Kell, who's a uh, master flycaster as certified by the Fly Fishing International, and possibly another person with him, probably his acolyte. Um, and we're also going to have a fly tire cl uh, class right down there by, by the Ed Myers complex. That gets people into what it's doing because fly fishing is so much more than just going out in the water. It has science involved, of course, but of course it has crafts involved because you make a lot of people make their own flies. That's one of the first things that got me into it when I moved here some 30 years ago, you know, 30 years ago. So uh, we, we try to do something, have something for everybody. If you if you know about it, you know how to fish, fine. If you don't know and want to learn, we have that for you as well. So between now uh, and then, uh, we do have a... Uh, obviously, the Titusville Rotary Club has a Facebook page. It also has an Instagram page. And the Oil Creek Classic account, I should say. And Oil Creek Classic has an Instagram account also. So you can get on there for more information. We are just, we've just launched our website this uh, this winter. And it's TitusvillePARotary.org. TitusvillePARotary.org. You can also call 814 two zero eight three nine six four that's eight one four two two zero eight three nine six four uh just leave a message and we'll get back to you uh we're looking for registrants we're looking for sponsors if you have more questions if you have maybe uh maybe you have some giveaways that you'd like to uh put in our registration bags uh, we would we would certainly be honored to help you distribute those. Uh, once again, we will be uh, the registration, and we have a welcoming dinner. It's called Big Al's Welcome Dinner, and that's on Friday night on April 30th, and that's going to start at 6 o'clock at the Ed Meyer Complex uh, in Titusville, on the south side of Titusville, towards Drake Well. And then uh, Saturday morning, anglers report to their beats at before eight, correct? Yeah, before yeah, before eight. Um, Seven thirty. Oh, well, we have we'll have Warner's breakfast. We have Warner's breakfast. Warner's Bakery is sponsoring our breakfast, so really that starts at seven at Ed Meyer Complex, and then anglers are in the water around eight. Yes. Is that right? Well, seven thirty usually because a lot of them just 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 chomp at the bit to get out there. There was one year that we had breakfast out there, and I and I, you remember this year. People just swipe the stuff up and got right to the water. So that's it. Well, that's they'll it. get in there early, and hopefully they'll stay out there late. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, we also, along the way, not only do we have at the Edmire Complex, starting at 11 o'clock is the, uh, the community day, and then we have Chris's Creekside Cafe, where um, it's going to be a little bit more challenging this year than before, but uh, we actually serve the anglers 
uh, out along Creekside so that they, they don't miss out on some great opportunities to fish. And then we'll have a, a short banquet slash uh, award ceremony at the end of the day, usually 6, 6.30. 6, 6.30. And uh, in, at the uh, Edmire Complex in, on the south side in Titusville. And, uh, and we'll have some dinner and we'll give out the prizes at that point. And everybody's a winner, really, for sure. But uh, Let's talk about the prizes. Yep. The prizes for the, um, for the adult division, we have a special rod, which is a traveling rod plus a journal. They'll win the use of that rod for a whole year. And the journals, you know, just to chronicle what they did, how much fish they caught. And we have some other prizes as well, very good prizes. Over the years, we've had uh, custom wooden boxes made by Al Swanson out from out there in Montana. Uh, we've had a lot of different things going there. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fly fishermen love the gadgets and love the, uh, love the paraphernalia. So we have to put that in there, and they're all very well they're all very good. And we also want to thank the Dixon family. Oh, yes. That's who sponsored the traveling, the traveling, ro- rod. The traveling rod and its journal. Uh, they did that about four years ago. Four years so. ago. And, uh, and it's been used quite a bit. In fact, it, it's been used over in Williamsport and uh, quite a few places, obviously, around here. I think even in Canada, maybe. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, you, not only when you win, you get the journal, but you get to see where the, that journal has been and that rod has been taken to, to use. And then, of course, you bring it back the following year, and maybe you win it again or you give it to that to the next winner. So, uh, once again, we're uh, Chris Feely and Al Rickerson of the Titusville Rotary Club. We want to thank Ryan and Kevin and the gang at Armstrong uh, for all their support. We are looking for sponsors for the Titusville Rotary Club's Oil Creek Classic here in Titusville, and it, it's it's a long. It's in Oil Creek, and we our base is at the Edmar Complex on the south side of town. Once again, for more information, you can check out our website at TitusvillePARotary.org. That's TitusvillePARotary.org. We also have Titusville Rotary Club on Facebook. We also have Titusville Rotary Club on Instagram, and we have Oil Creek Classic on Instagram. So check us out um, and if, Facebook. Yeah, and Facebook. So, appreciate appreciate uh, once again Ryan and Kevin and the gang uh, for your sponsorship and your your help promoting us. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. And uh, if you have inf- need more information, please let us know. Okay. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you.